I'm Sam Brown. I've been fighting about four years. My record's 16 fights, 13 wins. Uh, I started Muay Thai about four years ago. I, I met a couple of fighters and my ears picked up. Um, I was already a personal trainer, so I really liked fitness and I thought, you know, what's better than hitting something or someone? And I never looked back. It's probably one of the best things I've ever done. Training here at Cork Rocks is one of the greatest places I could be. I'm surrounded by the best, um, so I kind of look up to them and, and see what they're doing and think, well, why can't I be the same? So I get my inspiration and, and go for it and try and do what they do. Sometimes I doubt whether I can get up, whether I can do this, whether I can make the weight, whether I can keep dieting, whether I can, whether I can get to training. Um, injuries have a, a massive impact on me. You just need to back yourself. No one else can tell you. I have people tell me, going, oh, you're the best, you're this, you're that. It doesn't matter what other people say. You have to say it to yourself and believe in yourself. Anyone who tells me that they, they don't get afraid to step into the ring, I have a little bit of disbelief. I think it's a massive deal. You're stepping in, into like a, a square of war. You know, it's you versus someone else. You're gonna be afraid. You, you're gonna be nervous. They're coming at you because they want to win. They're gonna hit you. They're gonna punch you in the face. Um, they're gonna do whatever they can to get you unconscious. I want to win. I want to be the best there is. I want to be number one. You walk in there and that person's in your way to being number one. So you've just got to get past this step to get to where you want to be. beat Bullet, it's uh, going to take a lot of courage and a lot of self-belief. self, self -belief. Um, Bullet's an amazing fighter and she's got a bucket load of experience. She's, around, she's been around the traps forever uh, and she's quite talented. I've trained, I've sparred with her before and trained at a gym before so I know how good she is. It's just going to take self-belief. Um, just give it everything I have. I've got to fight the fight in my fight. If I fight to her fight, and that's in any fight, you're going to lose if you try and fight their way. To fight your way and what you want, it's the only way to get through it. So that's, just get in, do what I do, and keep going until it's done. I'm a little bit more hungry than Bullet. So, you know, I'm at the point in my career, in my fight time, that I, I want to be the best. I want to be number one, you know, I want to, I want to make it to the top. Bullet's kind of not retired, but she's just cruising along, you know, it's, and it's just, it's just a little bit for fun. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to underestimate her, but I think I'm a little bit more hungry for the win than she is, you know. She, she, she said herself, she doesn't really have anything to prove, she is good at for fun, um, but her fun is she's still very talented, so it's, you know, I think, I think that's what's going to give me the edges, I just want it more. I'm Aaron Smith, I'm Sam's trainer, I've been training Sam for two years now. I still remember the day when she came into the gym, I actually uh, couldn't hold pads for her, I had a bad arm at the time, so I had to watch her from uh, the sideline, but I could really see that she was determined, she had a good work ethic. Above all, she had a really good heart in the ring and kept pushing herself all the way and I could really ask her to do things and she'd just go the whole hog and just put it all in. I'm Adam King, a former fighter and now um, promoter of corporate punishment. I was speaking to uh, Bullet about a fight with, with, um, with her daughter and Sam. Um, she actually got injured and then Bullet goes, I'll do it. It's like, all right, cool. And then the rest is history. Everyone looks up to Sam, especially the females. I guess that's why this fight is such a big fight on corporate punishment because it ties in with everything that corporate box and corporate punishment is all about. So this fight, it's been dubbed old school versus new school, a fight for the ages, you know? And I'm predicting the first round to be a war. Guys have been really prepping me up and plenty of rounds, plenty of sparring, plenty of everything going on. So, yeah, it's been good, mate. Really, really good. Feeling pretty good tonight. Uh, it's uh, been, been a long day, a lot of resting, but I'm ready for war. It's going to be two cyclones hitting tonight. Sammy's, Sammy's tough girl, man. She's no slouch. You know, she's in there and she's, she's mixing it up hard. She's doing strong, you know, so... Mate, I don't think there's, there's any edge I've been out for a long time. Bullet, uh, she poses a threat with her experience. Uh, I know she's a shotgun fighter, she's going to come out, she's going to come out running at me, she's going to be aggressive, she's quite sharp. Uh, they're going to be her strengths. Um, I'm a bit bigger, so I've got that on my side. I'm a bit taller, I've got a bit, bit, bit better reach. Um, man, it's going to be one hell of a wolf, I can't wait. Just getting in there and going with the flow, so just wishing everyone good luck and hope that everyone's safe in the meantime, mate. 
May it always come home with the win. It is about honour and it is about respect and you are going in there to battle it out for a war but at the end there's no reason to fight anymore you know and you, you, a, lot of the, a lot of the end of my flights I'll get down on my knees and I'll actually bounce them and thank them for giving me the opportunity you know and, and thank them for being there so that's what I like about it the most. Sorry if I was um, letting anyone down with that bit high cool performance. That was one hell of a body shot I don't think I've been punched like that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting old man, girl. You're a father. Sammy, Sammy deserves everything she's got here mate. Tonight is her night. To me a great fighter is someone with a lot of heart. Uh, some of the best fighters I've seen haven't, haven't won, um, but mate, they just kept going and going and going. And they're the fighters that get the crowd on the edge of their seat and just, they just want them to win, you know. Um, heart and respect. I hate watching a fighter be rude or arrogant or and knock something down and just give a whole heap of attitude. Like, there's confidence and then there's ego. There's a big difference. Um, confidence, I will respect a fighter with confidence any day, but ego, not so much. Um, so I think if you've got respect and you've got a hell of a lot of ticker, I think you're one of the best fighters there can be.